Now let's test our meeting app installation and the pre-meeting experience. So I'm going to start by going to my console and typing in gulp ngrok ngrok serve. So the gulp task is going to do a lot of different things. It's going to um, uh, build my project, start a local web server, and then start the ngrok process uh, using the random subdomain uh, to create a secure URL to our local web server. And again, I'm using my own name here uh, for the licensed version of ngrok just to make my life a little bit easier. Now, while our app is still spinning up, um, because things are still starting in the background, uh, let's go into Microsoft Teams and let's create a couple meetings here. So I'm already logged into Microsoft Teams. So I'm gonna go to my calendar and I'm gonna create two meetings. I'm gonna create one for a date in the past and one for a date in the future. So today I have here, we're on Wednesday the 2nd. Um, I'm gonna create two meetings here one on Monday and one on Friday. And this is gonna give me a, a good ex example or a good experience to show you the pre-meeting and the post-meeting um, experience. So I'll have one called Test Meeting 01. Um, this will invite one person to our meeting, uh, Alex. And the reason why is because you have to have at least two people, the organizer and someone else, uh, in a meeting in order to install an app in the meeting. So there's one, I'll come over here and install a second meeting. So we'll call this Test Meeting 02. Alex, I'll add Alex here as well. And now we're gonna install the meeting, so, or our, install our app. So I'm gonna do that by coming over here to the test meeting 01, and I'm gonna select this plus icon at the top. Now, here you see I don't have, my app is not listed. It would be showing up up here in the top left. Um, so what I need to do is I need to sideload it since we didn't deploy it to uh, the um, app gallery. So I'm gonna do that by um, selecting the more apps, then I'm gonna choose upload a custom app I'm gonna select the package that Microsoft Teams, um, the ngrok serve process uh, created. So I'll create our app package. And then I'll just go ahead and select add. All right, so now we've installed the app um, as an app that's available or we've uploaded it uh, to the meeting, but it's not installed in our meeting yet. So I'm gonna go back and repeat the process by selecting that plus icon and now I see my meeting app for a stand-up agenda listed. So I'll go ahead and select it. Uh, we didn't do anything with the configure tab, so I'll just go ahead and hit save. And now we can see that our stand-up agenda is now showing up in our meeting. So if I come over here uh, to the meeting itself, let's go back to the first experience, and we now see we have our stand-up ag agenda meeting uh, listed. So I'm gonna go repeat the process here for meeting two. And so now you can see, even though we're in meeting number two, we also have our stand-up agenda uh, is already created and uh, selected. So let's go to our meeting, our first meeting that we created, and let's go um, use our app. So what I'm gonna do is come over here to the stand-up agenda, and you see here that I have nothing listed in the pre-meeting uh, experience. Um, what I wanna do is I'm gonna add a couple different stand-up topics. So for example, I'll select the Add stand-up topic, we can see our grid went from three columns, or from four columns to three columns for our list, and then the fourth column, we have our topic over here. So I'll choose the first one to introduce our new team member. I'll hit submit. Um, I'll also have another one called Project Alpha Launch Schedule, That's something else we're gonna need to discuss, as well as our Project Beta uh, new features that we're discussing. And I'll go ahead and close that. So we've got our three different items here. Um, if I leave our meeting and I go back to uh, our test meeting 02 and I look at his list, you see his list is coming up blank. Um, and that's because the data is being stored separately for each one of our meetings. Come back into meeting one, I go to stand up agenda. And here we go, we can see the list uh, of our different um, our different meetings. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go log in as Alex and I'll add some items um, for to the meeting that Alex wants to present. Now here you can see when I'm logged in as uh, Megan that I can now see a list of all the topics that have been submitted uh, from all attendees and the organizer. Um, we can also see where the status is set to pending as well. Um, but Alex had the same controls that um, Megan had to be able to go in and to add stand-up topics. Um, and I also went ahead and repeated the exact same process uh, for meeting two and put in the exact same items um, as well. So we can see two separate 
uh, lists of stand-up topics for each one of these different meetings. 